India to develop and integrate indigenous precision weaponry onto its Heron UAVs under Project Cheetah, enhancing their operational versatility and effectiveness. This move will reduce India's reliance on foreign imports and make it more self-sufficient in defense manufacturing. The Safran Hal Joint Venture for Manufacturing IMRH DBMRH engines will become operational in November 2023 at the new Tumakuru facility. The JV will be able to produce up to 90 helicopters per year, including LCH, LUH, and IMRH. Production of the IMRH helicopter with the new engine could begin by 2031. HAL's NASIC division is seeking to develop indigenous spares for the Su-30MKI aircraft in collaboration with Indian Industries. This move is aimed at reducing HAL's dependence on foreign firms for these critical components and boosting India's self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Alpha Design Technologies, the Bengaluru-based firm that developed the crew module for the successful first flight test vehicle Abort Mission 1, TVD-1, will supply three more crew modules and other critical items for the upcoming Gaganyaan mission. ISRO to conduct airdrop test and pad abort test for Gaganyaan mission in December 2023 and early 2024, respectively. These tests are essential for ensuring the safety of the Gaganyaan astronauts. ISRO is planning to use nuclear resources to power and maintain its rover instruments in extreme environments, such as the lunar surface. This will allow ISRO to send rovers to more challenging environments and conduct longer duration missions. India's twin-engine deck-based fighter, TADBF, is undergoing design changes to meet the Indian Navy's requirements, including enhanced frontal radar cross-section and the addition of three semi-recessed belly missile bays. Armenia is seeking India's expertise to modernize its fleet of T-72 tanks. The two countries have close defense ties, and India has a wealth of experience in upgrading T-72 tanks. The deal, if finalized, would be a significant boost to India-Armenia defense relations. The Indian government has set up a committee to revamp the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, with a focus on improving its efficiency and productivity. The committee is likely to recommend measures such as closing down redundant labs, incentivizing innovation, and increasing collaboration with the private sector and academia. India is preparing to deploy a dedicated unit of trained cyber commandos to enhance its cybersecurity capabilities and protect its critical infrastructure from cyber attacks. The cyber commandos will be sourced from police forces across the country and will undergo specialized training to respond to and mitigate cyber threats and incidents.